Community Viewpoint with Maria Hurst. Hi, welcome back. I'm your host for this segment, Maria Hurst, and thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, I have a quick announcement before we join our awesome guests tonight. I just wanted to remind everybody next Friday, or this, yeah, this coming up Friday, on the 23rd of October, uh, the Solid Suns, the band, is going to have their CD release show at Vamped in Las Vegas on Sahara. So don't miss that. It's at 8 o'clock at Vamped and it's the Solid Suns, and you just saw them here at the Fall Festival. So don't miss that. That's a, that's a real big deal for their new album coming out in Ungodly Hour. So don't miss that. Friday the 23rd at 8 o'clock at Vamped. Now, let's get to our awesome guests. I'm so excited to introduce them. We have Julie Schmidt and Joe Gardner from Freedom Range Ranch. Welcome. Thank you. I really appreciate you asking us to come on. Well, thank you for coming on. Thank I you, think um, I know a little bit about what you do, and I, I think it's awesome. And so I think I, I just wanted to share that with the okay. public. And, and so tell us a little bit about Freedom Range Ranch so we can get to know them a little bit. Okay. Freedom Range Ranch is a family dream that uh, began a couple of years ago, and we are a nonprofit uh, organization, and we do horse-assisted therapy. And that, that includes doing therapy for behavioral health. Um, we also have done physical therapy at our ranch. Uh, we also like to uh, minister and uh, teach foster kids. It, it actually is a wide variety that we work with. Uh, we also have certified instructors. We are certified in standard. Uh, Western and English, and we also have instructors that are in, uh, certified in what's called IRD, Instructors for Riders with Disability. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. So um, because of what you do, there, there is, horses are not um, an inexpensive Correct. task, to, and, <laughs> no. and, and you're doing amazing work, and you're making progress, and helping people. Um, but we have an upcoming event, so yes. a fundraising event. Yes. So let's talk about that a little bit. What are you going to have? It's going to be, um, I'm going to let you tell about okay. that. Okay. I'm so um, excited for it. <laughs> because we are a nonprofit, I, we we do have to uh, do fundraisers to help support our, our programs. We are doing an event called Frontier Family Fun Day. It's on November 7th, and it will actually be all day long from 8 o'clock in the morning until 6 o'clock at night. Uh, we, we needed to utilize some of that uh, time because one of the really exciting things that we have is we have Las Vegas Balloon Rides is donating their hot air balloon for tethered balloon rides and he okay. needs the morning times. Otherwise, I was going to put it a little later, so right. it wasn't quite so long, but they need the, the cooler weather to do mm -hmm. the tethered balloon rides. Okay. And uh, they will also be doing some demonstrations uh, with that, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Okay. So how did you guys, um, Joe, this is Joe Gardner, by the way. How did how did you get in touch with uh, Las Vegas Balloon Rides? Um, they're friends. A uh, good friend of mine, he was out here for the Balloon Festival. Okay. And uh, while they were out here, uh, we were part of their ground crew to help mm -hmm. with the balloons. And so we started talking about what we do out here with Freedom Rains Ranch. And we thought it would be a neat thing to have them come out and maybe do a tethered balloon thing for okay. the kids and families. And it just kind of escalated into this uh, Frontier Family Fun Days where it's, you know, we were able to do um, tethered rides and we're also doing a raffle for right. uh, sunrise champagne oh, that's uh, cool. ride for, <laughs> for two. And uh, it's going to be a gift certificate so they could use it within a okay. year's time. Right. They'll be able to use it whenever they'd like, mm -hmm. and uh, we're so we're selling raffle tickets for that. Okay. And so they we're just, really excited about that also. They wanted to be involved. Yes, they the did want to be involved. Because the important work that you're doing, mm -hmm. that's amazing. Is so there's a um, there's a an admission fee, or this is for the balloon ride. There, there is actually to our event an admission fee because it is a fundraiser. Okay. So we have it for five dollars per 
uh, child or $20 for a family of four or more. Uh, we oh, do understand that's great. That's great. that it can be tough, you know, for especially with uh, families. And this is what this is about is family fun day. Mm -hmm. And the only that includes because we have a lot of events and we actually have some exhibitions that we're going to be doing there. Uh, so all of that will be included. The, the games that we have set up for the kids, prizes is all included in that entry fee. The only thing that we are charging above that is the, the tethered balloon ride okay. would be $5 per child and $10 per adult, which I plan on doing because I've never been in a hot air balloon. So I'm That's actually awesome. looking forward to that as well. And we also want to sell, um, provide food and drinks there. And that's part of our fundraising that we're doing. Okay. And so I want to go back to the raffle a bit okay. that Joe talked about. So this is for a champagne br brunch, hot air ride. Now, to me, that just sounds awesome. Like, oh, would you like to yeah. go for brunch? <laughs> oh, sure. Where are we going to go? Well, we're actually going to go up there. And... This is a six hundred and ninety dollar value, yes, mm -hmm. and the tickets are only five bucks. Yes, correct. And That's they great. put on a really, really nice little buffet thing at the end. Uh, they're really a class A group, and they're a lot of fun. They're really fun people, mm -hmm. and they, like I said, they they really enjoy helping, you know, fundraising and Boy. stuff like that, like mm -hmm. groups with us. I think that's awesome, and there are so if you whoever the winner is, it's in Las Vegas. They go, correct, correct. Okay, so it's yeah. not far. I mean, we go no. to Las Vegas all the time for right. a lot of things that we do. Mm -hmm. um, but on November seventh, you don't have to go to Las Vegas nope. because you're going right to be at Frontier Family Fun Day all day from eight to six, and we're going to have some music there, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes, we're going to have uh, Cole Reeves is. Uh, going to donate his time. Okay. Single Action 44 is going to donate his time or their time. Uh, they're really, really great local bands, local music. And uh, Danny, um, I'm sorry. Pillman. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, he's going to donate his time, which is really nice because it's, it's all about the community and giving back. So it'll be really nice to have them. It's awesome. It's just yes. going to make for like the whole... Music kind of, I love music, I think everybody knows that, yes. and I think music makes the whole package, you know, everybody yes. can just, like, relax, enjoy themselves, go eat, and you know that this day of fun is going to be helping, yes. helping people with, with their therapy. Yeah. Correct. So, I, that's, it's awesome, it's a win-win for everybody. It, it is, is. So and it's fun. all about the kids, it really is, this is about the kids, and then all the... The fundraising and everything we do goes back to the kids and, and mm -hmm. their families and stuff. So it's it's a really great program, and I'm and that 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 is a really good point because I do want to just reiterate that we are a nonprofit and so everything that we bring in goes directly back into the support of the horses and the ranch okay. and the the programs for our disability. No one's paid there, and okay. so it's it's all volunteer. So that's we have awesome. a great volunteer yes, staff. We, do. we have a really fabulous <laughs> staff, and we have a, a really good group of horses that um, the kids get along really good with. And we have everything from a uh, you know a beginner horse to um, a more advanced horses, Correct. so they can yeah. do more you know depending on their capabilities and stuff, which is really nice. And and so we we really are blessed to have such a great staff yeah. and a great group of horses and and a great group of people. Yes, That's awesome. And also the people that are going for therapy, you know, as they, they, um, they learn more, they can, they're like, Oh, I get to ride that horse now because mm -hmm. that one mm -hmm. is yeah. more advanced. And so they do. that's like a that really good sense of accomplishment yeah. for them too. They do. They're like, when that's can awesome. I ride Captain? or where can yeah. I ride Dakota? That's I'm awesome. Like, well, you'll and get there. It gets, there. Them, it gets mm -hmm. them more engaged. Mm -hmm. It, it yeah. actually does. And when you're talking about kids that, that are needing confidence, uh, mm -hmm. behavioral issues. We've seen kids that have had uh, severe op oppositional behavioral mm -hmm. issues. And, but when they come to the ranch, they, they know they need to cooperate and they, it's, it yeah. is a goal. They want to be able to, to ride captain or be able to do the, the trot and they have to show us that they will cooperate in order mm -hmm. to advance. And I think if they are having trouble communicating with people, Correct. the animals, I mean, it's, mm -hmm. they're, you have to speak their language. <laughs> yes. You know, you have to. Um, for the, for the, just because we only have about four minutes, I think, okay. three, three, four minutes, but 
in advance, can we get tickets in advance? I, I noticed here there's yes. some. Yes, um, we actually have tickets that you can purchase at Acme Feed on Bell Vista, Shadow Mountain on Bell Vista, uh, or Acme is not on Bell Vista, Acme's excuse on me. West. Acme's on West, I was looking out the wrong notes, uh, but Valley's Edge Feed Store and Shadow Mountain is on Bell Vista, and then Affiliated Chiropractic, which is right before the main post office, Southern Nevada Counseling Center, which is on the corner of Prump Valley Boulevard and um, Calvada. Okay. And, and also through the board members. And um, this part, it needs to, we need to make sure to mention that okay. during this time. Um, since we just have a few minutes, I'm just going to go through it. Okay. The Pony Express, which is yes. totally cool. They're going to be delivering the winner at around 3.30. So yes. get your tickets now and buy yep. them really yeah. early the, in the day if you don't get them prior. Correct. Um, and then this is, um, we're going to have, I'm sorry, hot air mm -hmm. balloon, uh, dog agility demo, blacksmithing, rock crushing, dancing, crafts for kids, play area. Yes. Um, lots of fun. Lots of stuff. Goat milking. And then, yep. Um, is mm -hmm. the, this is the one you want to point out. Yes. VIP, 10 VIP passes. Oh, I'm going to let okay. you talk, talk um, One of the demos, by the way, is going to be repelling from the hot air balloon. You won't want to miss that. And so we Ooh. will have a schedule. But I do want to put out there that we have 10 VIP passes for families with members with autism and 10 VIP passes for families with foster kids that were paid for by Prump Valley Cruisers. And what that means is if, if you contact me, which they'll put up my phone number. If you contact me, uh, the first 10 people, I can give you a VIP pass and your whole family can get into the event without okay. pain. And so we really are blessed by Prompt Valley Cruisers and their donation, and we wanted to pass that on to uh, those families. And okay. I wanted to put that out there. We need an address of where the location yes. is. Yes. And that is going to be at um, Double J Ranch, because our ranch is actually too small for this event. Okay. So Double J Ranch is off at of 372. Like you're going to California, almost all the way out. Z Street is one of the last streets, and you would make a left, and it's right there on Z Street and Wapa. And that's a strange okay. name, but you'll be able to find it, I'm sure. Well, Moapa, there's like a... It's on the radio all the time. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, so 372 left on Z Street, and it's on Moapa. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. If you thank want you more information, you can... Oh, th my pleasure. Thank you. If you want more information, go to their Facebook page. Yes. Just type in Freedom Range Ranch Pahrump, and you can like them on Facebook. And please like our Community Viewpoint uh, KPVM page on Facebook as well. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you next week. Thank you, Noah and the booth. Community Viewpoint with Maria Hurst.